Hey everyone, I'm the Terrain with Server Pro, and Mojang has recently released Snapshot 21W06A for Minecraft. This snapshot adds the most anticipated changes for this update, but let's not waste any more time and get right into the news. This snapshot has added brand new noise caves and aquifers into Minecraft. Noise caves are a much more natural looking cave and they are sometimes extremely large. Currently, there are two types of noise caves. Cheese caves, as Mojang devs call it, which has holes in various sized caverns, and spaghetti caves, which are long and bending tunnels that can vary in size. The old caves do still generate naturally, but they combine with the new noise caves to create unique cave systems. And, although the name sounds like it, there are no unique sounds and noises to the noise cave. Maybe in a later snapshot though. In addition, new aquifers generate in caves and generate bodies of water within noise caves. This may result in small pods of water or even underground lakes. In this snapshot, aquifers are created below Y31 and this has caused a bug in which caves between Y31 and Y63 are flooded with water. The Mojang devs have acknowledged this bug and it should be fixed by the next snapshot. Also, mine shafts will now expand to fit the larger caves and won't generate if they are fully in air, thus making them look more natural. Also, the corridors from the mine shaft will be supported by log pillars if they do need support. Once again, making mine shafts look like actual structures with supports rather than just floating blocks in a random cave. And finally, the build and generation limits for Minecraft have finally been expanded. So now you can build until Y320 and structures can generate all the way down to Y-64. There are a few changes in gameplay that have been introduced in the snapshot, and most of them have to do with the new drip leaf blocks that were introduced in the last snapshot. Last week, players who stood on a big drip leaf could prevent the head of the drip leaf from tilting if they jumped or crouched. However, in this version, that is no longer a mechanic, so you will fall through the head if you stand on the block for a few seconds. The big drift leaf also broke in the last snapshot when hit by an arrow or other projectile, but in this version, the drip leaf will simply tilt. And brand new in this version, drip leaves can be prevented from tilting if they are powered by redstone. And finally, the new hanging roots and small drip leaves that were introduced in the last snapshot have had their textures updated in this new one. And that is all for this snapshot news video. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more of these news videos, as well as mod and plugin reviews and tutorials. If you'd like to take a look at the snapshot article page, then you can find a link for the page in the description below. And to create a free server for you and your friends to explore these new caves, then head over to server.pro or click the link in the description. Thank you for watching, I'm the Terrain, peace out.